Lodosa was a prosperous port city that grew quickly from the turn of the first millennium and with its wide entrance by the river became Sweden's gateway to the west. In the 1100s, the Royal Mint was situated there along with three churches. This represented real power in the Middle Ages and Lodosa was one of Sweden's top three cities with Sigtuna and Skara. In 1313, Magnus III's sons, the Dukes Eric and Valdemar, celebrated a grand double wedding there, each one of them marrying a Norwegian princess, both called Ingeborg. This was part of a power struggle between the Dukes and their brother, who became King of Sweden. But the story is not always the way people imagine, as Ingeborg herself may tell you. Let me start from the beginning. I was born in 1301 in Norway and was betrothed at the age of to the Swedish Duke Eric, who I married when I was 11. I gave birth to our son Magnus when I was 15. My husband Eric had an idea for a political empire here in the River Yerta area, which I clearly liked. When I was 16, I gave birth to our daughter Emphemia, and one year later, I became a widow after a new Sherping banquet, which involved really dirty politics. Anyway, when I was 18, my son Magnus was king of both Norway and Sweden, at the tender age of three. So I had to look after not only him, but the whole country. It was an exciting time in the old man's council. But my cousin Ingeborg was unfortunately outmaneuvered. I frequently used both my own royal seal and that of my little king. When I was 20, I promised my little Euphemia in marriage to a powerful foreign nobleman. A little German assistance can never hurt. So at 21, I took the initiative to attack the scorner with the help of handsome Danish knight Knut Porsche. I became a force to be reckoned with, which led to a certain coolness. This forced me to seek reconciliation with them. At the age of 20, I married Knut Porsa, and we had two sons who both unfortunately fell victim to the plague, and Knut also died. So I devoted all my attention to my surviving children. Eventually, my little son Magnus came of age and was crowned King of Sweden. Hooray! and died in 1361 at the age of 60. There wasn't much else to do by then, really. You can accomplish a lot over 60 years if you're in power. Duchess Ingeborg's political struggles are extremely important to Nordic history, especially considering that being a high-born, young and wealthy woman did not prevent her from engaging in the politics of the 1300s. There's not much evidence of Lourdes's heyday today, but the modern town of Lille Edit has a coat of arms with two towers and retains its medieval seal. By the way, did I sell my title? It was enough to be Swedish Duchess, daughter of King Haakon of Norway, Ingeborg, by the grace of God. <laughs>